Namaste my friends and welcome to Move In and Explore Weekly Altieri. Today's episode is Move With Me and I am sharing with you yoga for split. For this class, you will need two yoga blocks. When you're ready, hop on your mat and let's get started. in this practice in seated position. So go ahead and place yourself on your mat and we'll begin this practice with Baddha Konasana. Bring soles of your feet to touch and spread your knees out wide. Now let's begin first with bringing the heels away from you and creating a beautiful diamond shape. Now sit nice and tall, hold on your ankles, roll the shoulders back, Inhale, engage your core, and as you exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips as you round into your upper back and try to bring your forehead to your feet. If it's not accessible to you, use your yoga block or maybe both of your yoga blocks, place them on your feet, round your upper back, and place your forehead on your yoga block. Now go ahead and close your eyes and begin to tune inward. Notice how you feel today. Tune into the breath. Begin to deepen it and lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Relax the muscles on your face. Truly soften. Let go of any expectations. Let go of everything that doesn't serve you for the next 30 minutes or so. And just be right here, right now, in this moment, with your body, with your breath, and with your sensations. Now, if your forehead on your blocks, maybe see if you can remove one block and then to flow a little bit more deeper or let go of the box at all and try to bring your forehead to your feet see how it feels so we're working here to open up our hip flexors and our inner thighs you might also feel a really nice gentle stretch in your lower back we'll stay here for another three breaths Relax, just breathe. Beautiful. So then lift your gaze up. And let's bring the heels closer towards our groin and open up the knees out wide. Again, sit nice and tall. Try to bring the heels as close as you can to your groin. Maybe even wiggle side to side. Keep both of your seat bones grounded into the earth. Lengthen, lift your heart, and again, hinge forward from the hips as you round in the upper back. And again, trying to bring the forehead down into the floor, or maybe again, you need to use your yoga block or both of your yoga blocks. Try not to rush here. Use the breath to open up your body slowly but surely. When it comes to flexibility, we never want to push right away too hard. It takes a few breaths to our body to invite us to go a little bit deeper. So be very mindful of your movement. Now if you want to go deeper and you have the block, just put the block aside and see if you can go a little bit deeper. Now notice the sensation in your hip flexors. Can you direct your breath into your hip flexors? And allow yourself to go deeper with each inhale and each exhale. Good, slowly lift your gaze, 
roll the shoulder hips, roll your shoulders back over the hips, and from here we're gonna come into a straddle forward fold. So go ahead and straddle the legs as much as it's accessible for you. Relax your feet completely, a little bit wiggle side to side, and begin to cast your heart forward as you hinge it from the hips and coming down to your forearms. Now, if the forearm doesn't come so easy to the floor, use your yoga blocks. You can stack your yoga blocks and be here. Maybe you need only one yoga block and you can go a little bit deeper. Now go ahead and close your eyes and just surrender, just relax, just breathe, just be right here, right now. Remember, when it comes to flexibility, we need to be really patient with our body. Put our ego aside. And allow our body progressively to invite us to go a little bit deeper. And if your forearms on a block, maybe try to put them aside and go a little bit deeper to your forearms. If you were already on your forearms, see if you can slide your arms forward and then begin to melt your chest down to the floor. Let's try a forward fold. This is a good pose to open up inner thighs hamstrings and the back of the knees. Also hip flexors. So last pose that we're gonna do we're gonna focus on hamstrings and hip flexors. If you feel that you have a hard time to breathe, take one step back. And on each cycle of breath try to soften take deeper longer inhales. And even deeper, longer exhales as you let it go out all the tension, all the tightness, and finding comfort where you are. Let's take two more breaths here. Slowly press into the inner hands or into your forearms. Bring the shoulders back up. Beautiful. And now we're gonna shake, shake, shake the legs as we're bringing them back together towards each other. Now, as a counter pose, really feel nice to bend the knees, lean back, and just allow your legs to sway side to side. Oh, I don't know if you could hear that, but I had a nice pop in my hips. Feels really, really good. And from here, we will move into <coughs> seated forward fold Paschimottanasana. Extend the legs in front of you, sit nice and tall. Now, if you're really, really tight in your hamstrings, I would recommend here to use a yoga strap or a towel or a t shirt that you can hook around your feet to find more length in your spine, go deeper and to open up your hamstrings a little bit deeper. And sit nice and tall, reach your arms up, draw your belly in and up, really engage your core. Hinge forward from the hips, reach the arms forward, and then go ahead and just surrender, fold over your legs. Now if you have a lot of gap in between your torso, your chest, and your legs, use your yoga blocks to stack on top of the legs and then bring the forehead to your box. Now make sure that you're keeping a long spine, flexing the feet towards your face to open up our hamstrings. And if you feel like this is too easy and you're right here and you want to go a little bit deeper, take a yoga block, place it behind your feet, hold onto the block, press the feet into the block, find even more length in your spine, Inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and fold. So find what suits you today. Again, don't try to rush. Don't try to push too hard. Really be mindful and listen to your body. Now, some days you might be able to go a little bit deeper. Some days not. 
and that's okay, embrace it because this is where you are today so take it nice, take it easy, take it slow maybe today you're a little bit more anxious maybe you're a little bit more nervous and you have a little bit more tightness in your body so use your breath to let go of the tightness and show your body that you're ready to go a little bit deeper one more breath and then slowly lift the gaze roll up good place your feet down push the floor away and we will come forward into rock doll position so place your feet here distance apart go ahead and grab the opposite elbows shift all the weight into your toes let go completely of your head and neck and then begin to sway side to side as you're shifting weight from one foot to the other try to navel in and up so create a lot of space in between the belly and your thighs and constantly keep hinging forward bringing all the weight into your toes now let's find a little bit of pulses here so we're gonna pulse pulse the elbows down towards the earth as we want to touch the earth and shifting all the way to the toes now feel that juicy nice sensation in the back of your legs say hello to your hamstrings good and we're gonna go here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one beautiful slowly release heel to your feet to touch if you cannot touch the floor use your yoga box or bend your knees inhale we're going to climb halfway long spine fingers can be on the floor on your shin bones or onto a yoga block inhale and as you exhale fold forward hands coming to the earth and you're going to bow over your legs shift the weight forward if you need to bend the knees bend your knees but keep all the weight in the balls of your feet inhale halfway long spine belly in blends out exhale fold forward inhale halfway lengthen exhale forward fold inhale halfway two more exhale forward fold inhale halfway exhale forward fold now stay here see if you can grab behind your calves bring your elbows behind your calves lift your sitting bones a little bit higher shift more weight to the balls of your feet and then bring your forehead to your shin bones see how it feels breathe just breathe we're here for three breaths One more breath, yes you can. Beautiful, slowly lift your gaze, halfway lengthen. And let's make our way into straddle forward fold. Go ahead and straddle your legs. Not too much, okay? So, so you can get a really nice stretch. Slightly pivot your toes in and heels out. So find a pigeon feet inhale halfway lengthen and as you exhale you're gonna hinge forward again shifting all the way into the balls of your feet grab behind your calves ankles or heels let go of your head and neck open your elbows out wide and begin to reach the crown of your head down to the earth and I really love here to find a few poses so I'm gonna pulse it up pulse it up down towards the earth Pulse it up so I can inhale the stretch in the back of my legs. So don't be surprised if you tomorrow are gonna be better, very sore. Jazz three, four, three, two, and one. Find stillness. Open the elbows wide and begin pushing the crown of your head down towards the earth and breathe. Engage your core. 
two more breaths. Good, slowly lift your gaze, inhale, halfway. Lengthen, exhale, heel, toe your feet back to catch, and we will step back into downward facing dog. Let's find a little bit of movement in our downward facing dog just to reset everything. Bend the knees here if you need to. Lengthen your spine by lifting your sitting bones high and up. And just gently go ahead and walk your dog. Find that nice movement. No rules. Just find what feels good, what feels yummy. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, come high to your toes. Exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, high to toes. Exhale, heels down. One more. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, heels down. Good. Inhale, look up. Exhale, set the right foot in between your hands. And then go ahead and drop your left knee down. I want you to take out of your box and place them in line with your hips. Look at your back leg and make sure that your left toes are straight. Bring the shoulders over hips. Sink your hips forward and down. Use your yoga blocks, pressing the hands onto the blocks to get deeper into the sponge. Now notice that beautiful sensation in your left hip flexor. Begin to breathe into your sensation. Inhale, creating space. And as you exhale, move into that space as you're sinking even deeper. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Good, half splits. Send the hips to the back of your mat, flex the right toes in towards your face. Keep your left hip over your left knee. Really flex the right toes, walk the blocks forward. Lengthen your spine, draw your belly, your belly in and up so you have a lot of space in between the belly and your Right thigh, inhale, and as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, and hold. Three breaths. Lift your gaze, pull the arms back in line with the hips. Come back into crescent moon or low lunge. Inhale and as you exhale, back into half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Two more, maybe see if you want to try this without the blocks. Inhale, sink low. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Beautiful, we're bending into the right knee, tuck your left toes under, ground the heel down, pyramid pose. Take your blocks here. Find a lot of length in your spine, square the hips, draw the right hip back, and push your left hip forward. Engage your core. Inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and fold, bow over your right leg. Inhale, long spine, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Stay here, keep the hands on your blocks, or maybe bring them down to your mat if it's accessible to you. Breathe to your sensations. One more breath. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And as you exhale, we bend into the right knee, drop your left knee down. We're gonna make our way into lizard punch. Walk the right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Keep it your heel in, toes out. Make sure that your knee align with your toes. Sink the hips forward and down. You can stay here with your arms straight. Or maybe come down to your forearms, or maybe use your block to place your forearms onto your block. So find what is accessible to you. 
Feel free to close your eyes, you can stay still or maybe invite a little movement as you swing side to side and really digging into that outer right hip and into your right hip flexor. Good, come back into the straight arms. Keep the left heel to your bum, inhale, sweep the right arm up high, axle, send the arm behind you, grab your foot. Now keep sinking the hips forward and then squeeze your left heel towards your bum. Inhale, open, sink the hips forward, axle, squeeze. Inhale, open, axle, squeeze. Inhale, open, axle, squeeze and hold. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Tuck the left toes under, straighten the leg, and we're gonna make our way into Skandasana from here. So pivot the right toes forward, and then sink your bum down as you're flexing your left toes in towards your face, extend the arms forward, sink your butt back. Now you can use your arms here like a Spider-Man. Inhale, lift the sitting bones, move to the other side, axle sink. Nice. Or if you want to a little bit challenge your core, hands to your heart, inhale, lift up, exhale. And let's move one more movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, nice, slowly pivot forward, back into a low lunge and we'll make our way into standing split, so shift all the way to the right foot and kick your left heel up to the sky, now you can use your yoga box here, both or one, shift the weight to the ball of the right foot and then see if you can kick that left heel a little bit higher. Maybe find a few pulses here. Breathe into the sensation in the back of your right leg. Now pause. Maybe bring the hands all the way down to your mat. Maybe grab behind your right calf with your right hand and keep that left heel a little bit higher as you bring in your torso to that standing leg pointing your left toes up towards the sky, finding a lot of engagement. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice. Now start with the right knee. Bend your left knee, reach the right arm back behind you, grab the left foot, and then again begin to straighten the right leg as you're kicking the left heel up to the sky. Modify soldier pose or just the thing, just the soldier pose. You can use your yoga block here as well if you need. Now keep hinging forward and if you want to go into a full variation of soldier pose, bring your left toes down, bring your right shoulder underneath your right thigh, then kick the left foot into the right hand, glue the heel to your bum, Point your knee skyward, bring the gaze underneath your left arm, shift the weight forward to the right toes, and you have it. And if you don't have it just yet, that's okay, do whatever is accessible. It's a practice, lifetime practice. Take it easy and enjoy your journey. One more breath. and then slowly release. Bring your left foot down, back into ground goal position. Grab the opposite elbows, and then notice the difference in between your left and right leg. Can you feel your right leg a little bit longer? Let go of your grip, ground your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Now let's do it on the other side. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands, drop your Right knee down, grab your yoga blocks, place them in line with the hips. 
begin to sink the hips forward and down as you lifting your heart right across your collarbones bring the gaze up inhale exhale go deeper and then micro pulses micro micro pulses let's begin to open up that right hip flexor breathe and then just hold and breathe Beautiful, half splits, walk the blocks forward, send your hips to the back of your mat, place the left toes in towards your face, walk your blocks a little bit further, lengthen your spine, and then fold, and then micro pulses here. As you're sending your sitting bones to the back of your mat and flexing the toes towards your face. Close it up. Three. Two, one, pause, hold, lengthen, relax, surrender. Good, slowly lift the gaze, revenge into the foot knee, come back into low lunge, inhale, exhale back into half split, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Maybe try this without the yoga blocks. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Remain to the right knee. Tuck your Left knee, tuck your right toes under and make your way into pyramid pose. Square off the hips, lengthen your spine, take your yoga blocks if you need. Inhale, exhale, bow over your left leg. Find length, inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. One more, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, hold, and breathe. Maybe move your blocks aside and round your hands down into your mat. I swear I can stay here forever. It feels so good. I can fall asleep like this. One more breath. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, drop your right knee down and let's make our way into lizard punch. Walk your left foot to the outer edge of your mat, heel inches out. Sing again the hips forward and down. A little bit sway side to side. Breathe into that left hip flexor. And if it feels good, begin to make your way into your forearms. One more breath here. Come back into straight arms. Inhale, sweep the left arm up, open your chest. Exhale, kick the right heel to your bum. Go ahead and catch your foot. Keep sinking the hips forward and down. Then squeeze that right heel to your bum and open. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Squeeze and open. Two more. And then last one, just hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Beautiful. Pivot your hands to the right. Make your way into Skandasana. Ninja squat. Make sure that your left heel is grounded to the floor, flexing the right toes 
in towards your face. Find maybe a few bounces here. Notice how it feels in the inner thighs and your hip flexors. Now again, maybe you can use your arms to crawl to the other side. Or maybe you can use your core strength and you can use your hands to lift you up. Moving from one side to another side, one breath, one move. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, sink, inhale up, exhale, sink, one more each side. Last one. Good. Bring the hands to the front of your mat, making our way back into standing sweep. Shift the weight forward to the left leg. Begin to sway, swing that right heel all the way skyward. Use your blocks here if you need. Shift the weight to your toes and the microcosis. Pulse it up, 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 long spine. Breathe, smile. Good. Now from here, find stillness. Maybe bring the hands to the floor and begin to fold over your standing leg. Maybe you can grab your left ankle with your left hand, open up the right arm to the side, find a little bit of stillness in your standing splits. One more breath. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Soften the left knee, kick your right heel to your bum, reach the left arm back behind you, grab your foot, soldier pose. Now begin to straighten that left leg as you lifting the right knee all the way upward. Beautiful. Staying here or trying a super soldier, bring the right toes down, work your left shoulder underneath the left thigh, hinge forward, kick the right foot into your hand, bring the heel to your bum, begin to point in the knee all the way skyward as you bring in the gaze underneath your right armpit. Mm, this is such a juicy stretch. Hold, breathe, try to point the right knee higher and higher and higher towards the sky as you're shifting more and more and more weight into the right toes. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Make your way back into ragdoll position. Grab the opposite elbows, sway side to side. Breathe in. Open mouth, breathe out. Bend your knees, come down to a kneeling position. Okay, I think we're pretty warmed up to go into our splits. Take your two blocks with you. Come back into low lunge. Bring the right foot forward. Tuck your left toes under. Now from here, I want you to use the highest height of your block just for the beginning. Press your left toes into the floor as you're straightening that left leg and sliding the right heel forward. So you are right here. And from here, I want you to find a few bounces. Bounce, bounce, and bounce up and down. That feels okay. Change the position of your blocks. And then go ahead again. Bounce, 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 bounce. That feels okay. Again, change the position of your blocks. And then bounce, 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 and then eventually one day, boom. You coming into your splits. Oh my gosh, my legs are so long. I barely can fit in this hallway. <laughs> okay, now you can also, if you are right here, for example, you can also use your yoga blocks to place them behind, not behind, underneath your thigh and quad like this and just hang here for a little bit see how it feels maybe then you can lower the blocks and try to go a little bit deeper 
and then with practice, dedication, patience, boom, you will surprise yourself as you're gonna get into your split. All right. So if you want to if you want to practice this side a little bit longer, press the pause button, repeat this a little bit more, but we will move into the other side. So. Use both of your blocks, step the left foot forward, coming into the low lunge, tuck your right toes under, lift the knee up, begin to slide your left foot forward. Next, over here, straight arms, shoulders over hips, and then begin to bounce, 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 oop, be mindful of your blocks. My blocks are really thin, not the best choice, but this is what I have. Okay, let's try to change the position of these blocks and then keep bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Feels okay? Try again, adjust the position and then bounce, bounce, bounce. And maybe you can surprise yourself and come into a full split. Anumanasana, shoulders over hips, constantly square the hips to the front. Now again, if you're not quite here and you're somewhere here, use the blocks, placing one block underneath your thigh, the other one underneath your quad, and just try to hang here a little bit. Please don't round forward. Keep the shoulders over hips and just hold. And maybe eventually you can adjust the blocks and to come a little bit deeper. And then one day again we practice, 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 boom, coming into a full split. Now as you're coming into a full split and you feel pretty comfortable here, let's go into a full monkey pose, because this is how we call it, the yoga monkey pose, Hanumanasana. Reach your arms up, palms to touch, gazing to your thumbs, and breathing. And here you go. And if you want to keep practicing this side, press the pause button, and practice a little bit more. Let's come a little bit into counter poses here. Reverse tabletop, fingertips point towards your hips, feet are hip distance apart, press the floor away, sway side to side, drop your head back, and just find a little bit release to your hips. If you want to go into a full reverse plank, extend the legs forward, then when you're ready, come down, lean to your forearms, bring the feet to the outer edges of your mat, drop the knees to one side and the other, here we go, I have again a few pops, love these pops, nice, when it's enough, make your way all the way down onto your back, let's take it Puppy baby, ankles over your knees, tailbone grounded to the floor and just sway side to side. Maybe extend one leg, maybe another, maybe both. I love to grab inside my heels and to really go into a wide straddle here. Good. Just one easy twist to reset everything. Drop the knees to the right, gaze over your left shoulder, close your eyes. Deepen your breath, inhale. Exhale. Breathing. And breathe out. Try the knees into your chest. Sway side to side. Then drop the knees to the left, in the gaze to the right shoulder. Full breath in. 
exhale, breath out. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Draw the knees back into your chest. A little bit sway side to side. Give yourself a nice hug. And then make your way into Shavasana, resting pose. Heels to the corners of your mat, arms by your side, and just relax. Now it's so important to take Shavasana after this kind of practice. So here in Shavasana, you allow your body to create muscle memory, to soften, to relax, to digest your practice. To make sure that you are not keeping your shavasana. Relax the entire body and express gratitude for whatever came today in your practice. Remind yourself you are exactly where you meant to be. And yoga is a lifetime journey. It's a lifetime practice. So enjoy your baby steps, enjoy your practice, don't try to rush with the process. Always practice safe and mindful. Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish to. I just want you to say thank you for tuning in today, for practicing with me. I hope this class was yummy for you as it was yummy for me. I love, love practicing splits, not only because it's beautiful and sexy, but also because it feels so, so good in the body. When I walk during the day, I feel much taller, I feel much lighter, and that internal sensation and feeling it just means so much for me and i hope it will will mean and feel the same for you so again from my heart to yours thank you so much for stopping by today give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your friends and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos of mine Thank you very much and have a beautiful, joyful day.